Hey guys, in my video number 28, I had made a smart watchdog timer switch for our Wi-Fi router using a Sonoff Basic. If you have not watched that video, go watch it here first. It continuously monitors the state of the internet as well as our Wi-Fi network. And if it detects any fault in any or both the networks, it responds appropriately and fixes the problem at its own. So no more human intervention required for the router now. Our watchdog timer switch will always keep our network up and running all the time. A few days ago, one of my subscriber had commented to make an internet sensor for home assistant that can update the internet network status to home assistant in real time. So to fulfill his request, what I have done is that I have added the MQTT functionality in same smart watchdog switch code. So now, whenever our smart watchdog detects an internet outage, it also reports the same to home assistant via MQTT message. So how to do this? Let's get started. If you had made that smart watchdog switch from the last video, simply reflash it with the updated bin file whose link I have provided in the description and you are ready to go. Once the switch is flashed, in a couple of seconds, you will see a new network named VCC Ground with some numbers. Connect to it with password VCC Ground. Once connected, go to 192.168.4.1. Here you will get a login screen. Login with username admin and password is VCC Ground. Press enter and you will now see a web configuration page here. Click configure button and enter the credentials for your Wi-Fi and MQTT network along with a subscribe topic for your internet sensor. You also have to change your web config login password the first time. Click save and it will save all the information and restart the ESP chip. Here one thing to note that this configuration network remains on for 3 minutes only. So you have to be quick to enter your credentials before timeout. Once restarted, the Sono switch will now try to connect to your router as well as your MQTT network. You can also watch all the activity in an Arduino IDE serial monitor with baud rate set to 115200 as shown here. So once connected to your network, our smart watchdog switch is ready. Now we have to create a binary sensor in Home Assistant as shown here. Make sure to enter the correct state topic as you have entered in the web config page. Save the file and restart Home Assistant. Upon restart, you will now find a new binary sensor in the developer page. Let's now configure the front end to view the sensor. That's it. Now whenever the internet state changes at the router end, it will also get updated in Home Assistant and based on the sensor state, we can create and trigger a lot of automations. If in case any time you need to change your router, Wi-Fi or MQTT information, you can keep press the button on the sun off within 5 seconds of the LED blink until the LED goes stable on. This will start the VCC network again 
and you can reconfigure the new credentials. So this was all about this sensor and watchdog timer. For those who don't want to use Sonoff switches and have some other type of ESP8266 or 8285 based switches, they might not be able to use this bin file as there could be a GPIO pins mismatch. They please let me know your switch type and I will help you out on the same. Hope you like the idea. If you have any query, do comment below. If you like the content, please like and share the video with your family and friends. Do consider subscribing the channel for more upcoming exclusive and practical ideas on making your home smarter day by day. Stay creative, stay connected as we will meet in another exciting video soon. Until then, goodbye.